what is up youtube hi face guy 9000 here so something that i didn't realize is that we've reached uh we've recently reached uh 60 subscribers well 63 at the time of recording but i didn't even know so i'm making this now because i would have made it a lot sooner if i would have actually realized that uh we've hit we've hit a new milestone of uh of 60 subscribers so <sighs> i'm i'm uh making <clears throat> i'm feeling a little under the weather so please um please excuse me uh i'm making a tutorial video of how i put together my um pirate-esque costume um it's kind of bad but i'm gonna go easy on myself because i made it on a budget so if you want to make a good pirate costume that's relatively historically accurate on a budget then watch this video all the way to the end i'll divide it up into chapters i don't know really how that works so i'm gonna try my best to to hopefully um try and make it so that it has chapters and you could just skip to the part you want to see so i'm gonna get changed into the bare necessities and yeah i'll be right back i'm back um you could see that i transformed from the 21st century to the 17th and otherwise 18th century that took seven minutes um according to my phone to get everything set up so just off camera i have everything set up um now this is a scottish jack something shirt i got this at spirit with a sash for like eight dollars um just look up pirate shirt on google and you'll probably find out what it is it's a jackal scottish jackal something so it's a little too big on me i got the size too large so if you get a size too large so you could grow onto it i would suggest wearing something underneath it because this is way too tiny for me um i also have on a pair of gray sweatpants that i got at goodwill for around the same price as the shirt and otherwise stash now obviously if you were living in the uh 17 in the 1700s you wouldn't just go to goodwill and get a, p a gray pair of sweatpants um now i got the gray pair of sweatpants because they looked a lot like um jack sparrow's pants kind of they share a little bit of resemblance there's like pockets and and stuff on like the legs so like just sweat cargo pants combo uh, there should be a captain in there pardon me a captain jack sparrow-esque of uh, sweatpants now i also have here a tricord i also got a spear halloween a bandana from goodwill in the color of gray now i also tried um i had a scarf that i got from goodwill in the color red and i wore that and it it just didn't look good it didn't look as good as the bandana did so oh pardon me so i chose the bandana instead i also have well it would be it'd be helpful if i showed you everything so i have this bandana oh and there is a piece of eight on there so bandana gray and it has a piece of eight that i'm actually not fond of so i'm gonna take that one off because i don't like it um i also have another piece of eight um i i can i'm gonna make a video on how to make these because these take like 10 minutes and you can make them for under ten dollars at home it's it's really crazy i also have a tricorn um also spirit halloween um i have a antique belt here um i like this one because it looks worn it's all like multicolored and stuff but it's also kind of reversible because it has a different color leather on the inside I'm not gonna reverse it because i don't like to reverse belts because i don't think they look as good there's something in here hold on is there something in here? Okay, I guess not. So, uh, next, I have this set, this leather satchel I got on Amazon for $15. I think I got it when I was like nine, and I don't remember how much it was because I've had it for such a long time, and I only recently found it because I was going through a bunch of old stuff of mine. So, obviously, pirates wouldn't have nylon threads and stuff to make satchels with but we're on a budget so 
there's the bag okay so this leather sash came with the shirt i purchased um so i got the tricorn the sash and the shirt from goodwill respectively i also have a sash i got off etsy i'm not sure if the listing is still available but um i got this off um etsy with something else i think um i can't recall it at the, at the moment but i will definitely try to edit it into the video later so got the sash here uh or you could just wear and like a scarf or something as a sash it, it really doesn't matter and last but not least um i don't know the origins of this because it's not really mine um i have a blue diamond pattern vest i got this for my grandparents so this one is a bit of a mystery still but it's okay so if i was setting this up as a pirate okay, let me stand this up so so have here the vest blue vest it's on over the shirt uh, make sure to pull the sleeves the puffy lambunctious sleeves so of course if you wanted to be over the top you could wear this um obviously pull the collar out and over the shirt um i think i like the look of it with the vest buttoned up so i going to button this up personally So I'm not sure uh, where this exactly came from. I'm just going to leave that on one. So you could stop here if you want. I think this looks... I think this looks pretty good as it is. You could obviously... Okay, I'm just trying to find the right camera angle because this is not working out for me. You could stop here if you want, but obviously I'm going to go really extra with this. So next is the is the sash. Uh, this is... Oh, whoops. Uh, this is a very beautiful sash it's got like purple and teal and stuff and yellows and also a bunch of hair on it so i'm pretty sure the way you're supposed to do this and hopefully you'll be able to see a little bit of my crappy sweatpants so um i'm pretty sure you put it you start it on your waist like this and then you just wrap it around you like you were wrapping up some leftovers from thanksgiving or something that was a terrible analogy. I was set up for a good zinger and I did not follow through. So I apologize. Um, you just wrap that around a couple times. And normally I have somebody that help me with this, but I don't right now. And then at the end, I'm pretty sure you just stick that underneath and then like crinkle it up. So it looks like you tied it off on the edge. You can like switch it around and do a whole bunch of other stuff. So I'm gonna pass that under one last time just to make it look a little nicer and hopefully get a little tighter on my waist so yeah there you go uh sash installed uh you can see it looks like a tight and knot there so coming back up um now since i found the leather um the uh, bag i don't think i have a uh, need for this now what i did with this before was i um what i did with this before was i wore it like over my my shoulders cut that's what captain jack sparrow does this that and the third but with the bag i don't think it's going to be necessary so this is still the same size of my shoulders as when i was nine so hopefully this fits me with a, like a million layers of clothes on i'm also gonna like try to tuck this underneath the collar of the vest just so i can't see it as well and yeah, that looks pretty good in my opinion. So, next I have belts, which I'll put on real quick. Um, I don't put it on over the sash because the sash is kind of like the, the star of the show. And tighten that guy up. Boop. Boop. And I like the look of having it kind of tucked out. So, belt, sash, sash. So this one 
has little clips right here that you can undo and then you could take the bag on and off uh pass that under the belt and then clip it back on and what this does for me is that it can, it's, it's kind of annoying what this does for me is it keeps the bag relatively in place not all the way but then again it doesn't really need to be in place all the time so coming back up yeah this is looking looking pretty good so far so bag you could obviously put whatever you want in there like wallet or your phone or something uh if you were going trick or trading then you could hide extra candy in there big brain time so next i am going to work with this now um i made this particular bangle a couple months ago it's of an owl it's not my favorite i'm pretty sure um i dismantled the harry potter necklace to make this one so sorry mother for dismantling your harry potter necklace just know that it is in a better place so it's not that bad in my opinion but it also is not my favorite so take that off and one thing you'll see me use a lot is safety pins and that is mostly because they're cheap and they're just they're just effective all around so you obviously can't see it but the bottoms of my pants are connected with uh safety pins so they don't drape all over the place because i these are like size men's extra large so it's a regular square bandana um now i'm pretty sure how you would do this is Grab two of the corners, so it folds over on itself like this, or like that, and then connect these guys, pull that up to the top corner like this, and bingo, bingo, bongo. Um, now, obviously, you would wear this side with the triangle to your forehead, uh, not the other way around. So I'm going to switch it out for this guy. I'm also gonna adjust the camera so you could see this a little bit better. Here's the base of my operations, so to speak. I'm gonna lay this guy down. I'm trying my hardest to make it look a little more professional. And flip over, line up this. And here is my custom skull bandana bangle or piece of eight. It just depends on what you want to call it. So pull this up, set it face down underneath, and stick the needle through. And if you're using like a pendant for like a necklace or something, uh, find the little hole where you connect to that feed it through the top and then feed that through the back of the fabric and I'm gonna try to pick up the string since I don't want it to get caught on the thing okay I guess it doesn't matter and just clip that back up and that will not only hold your little pendant in place but it'll also hold all the beads and stuff up along with it so two for the price of one now this one's slightly askew so please ignore that now coming back up hey guys um that was stupid i'm sorry okay so find right way up hold it right way up pull it now that's obviously way too high up on here and I kind of look like a fool, so what I'm going to do is try my best to tie this off. Now, that's why I elect to wear a tricorn with this, because I just start to look like an idiot with this on after a while. So, two knots, one, two. Okay, perfect. And struggling to find my thing. Oh my god, where is it? Oh, it's stuck in the... In the folds of the thing, okay. Okay, that works. So, so 
Okay, it's just whatever at this point. And top it all off. Where my tricorn. And Please tell me this did not just break. All right, something just fell. I don't know what. Something fell somewhere. All right, I gotta end this because this guy's getting a little loud. So this is my official guide to a 17th century pirate costume. I mean, without the tricorn, obviously. And thanks again for 60 subscribers. Oh, my cameras just fell. Again, thank you for 60 subscribers. It means a lot to me. This has been Pirate Face Gun Thousand. I will see you in my next video. Or potentially the King's Navy. Or otherwise in jail. In Port Royal, that is. Get, get, you gotta get the spooky fingers, okay? The spooky fingers. Okay, Port Royal. Whatever, doesn't matter. And whatever. So I will see you in my next video. Bye bye. Okay, I didn't press the button.